boys and girls it's nice to see you i hope you've had a wonderful week and you're ready for class today hi boys and girls hi auntie Anne. how are you i'm good thank you how are you i'm fine thank you wonderful it's so good to be here boys and girls and i'll just ask auntie lulu to pray for us auntie lulu please pray okay jesus loves me i love jesus our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this bright and beautiful morning that you have given unto us. Even mm. as we now listen to your word, we ask that you might be with us and bless us and quiet our hearts before you. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, boys and girls, it's so good to be here and to listen to God's word. Some days have been really hot. Some <laughs> days have been windy and other days a little rain has fallen and we're so grateful for the weather boys and girls you know what this gives me a song to sing really which song are you going to sing auntie Anne? this is the day that the lord has made indeed it is so whether you're in a place where it's raining or maybe it's hot or perhaps it's cold this is the day because it's the lord's day Sunday when we can get together, listen to God's word and worship him and learn so many things. So we will sing. So if you are sitting, boys and girls, please stand up so that we can sing together. Let's sing this song. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Woo! We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Woo! This indeed is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice in it and be glad. Indeed. And you know what makes me most happy? What is it, Antia? It's listening to God's word and reading the Bible. Indeed. So boys and girls, shall we now listen to God's word from the Bible? Take your seats, please. Well, boys and girls, like I said, the beauty and the best part of the Lord's day is to listen to his word. And today, we are going to do a revision of all the things that we have learned the past few weeks on the doctrines of Christian doctrine, a summary of Christian doctrine. And before we do that, boys and girls, I'd like to read one verse to us. And that verse is found in Psalm 119, verse 11. And it says, until you look, Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Yes, your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Boys and girls, I hope you have been hiding God's word in your heart. And by this time, I hope you know God a little better than you did when we started. What are the few topics that we have done in the past few weeks? Auntie Lulu, could you help the boys and girls remember? Mm-hmm. We have looked at, well, from the beginning, we were looking at three numbers. We looked at the first number, number one, which means that there is one true God. Mm -hmm. We looked at number two, which was Jesus Christ has two natures. He's both God and man. Mm -hmm. We looked at number three, which talked about how there is one God in three persons. And then we went on and looked at a number four, was it? 
I remember, well, not really a number four, but the time when we looked at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the furnace and how Christ was there with them. So just speaking about how God is always with us in everything that we do. But then of late, we looked at three main things, mm -hmm. which is under, well, lessons about God, God's decree, okay. God's providence, mm -hmm. and predestination. Yes, all oh, boys and girls. So there's so much that we have learned. Indeed, there is only one God, and Christ has two natures. He's both man and God. And God exists in three persons, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And remember, God is always in our midst. No matter what happened, He is in our midst. And we see this by when we talk about the decrees of God, okay? That God has a purpose and a plan, okay? So boys and girls, you need to remember in all things, God has a purpose and a plan. Nothing takes him by surprise. He has a purpose and a plan and he plans all these things to the glory of his name. But also we looked at God's providence. Yes, and what's that? Well, God's providence is um, the manner in which God takes care of everything that he has created. Mm. Mm. So boys and girls, just the way God takes care of you, he provides for you, he takes care of your mummies, your daddies, your uncles, your aunties, your cousins, your nephews, everybody. He takes care of the whole world, the plants. He takes care of that the, the, the earth doesn't go into the sun. He sustains all things, the animals, the birds, and so on and so forth. He takes care of everything. Remember, God is looking after you. But what is your response to God, boys and girls? Are you grateful that God is actually watching over you? Can you say that you are happy? And do you give glory and praise, honor, and thanksgiving to him? Well, boys and girls, it's something that you should think about. There was something else that we did learn as well. We learned about predestination. Okay, that's a big word, isn't it, mm -hmm. boys and girls? Yes, it's where God tells our end from the beginning. Everything has been set. Like we already said, God has a plan and a purpose. Mm -hmm. So he knows what our final destination will be. And this destination is not like when you drive from home to school or from school back home. This is an eternal destination. So God knows where we will all be. Mm. And our duty is to think, repent, and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And those who do believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, what's their destination? They will have eternal life and will live in heaven with Jesus. Yes, so they will have eternal life and they will live forever and ever and ever and ever and, and ever and ever, <laughs> ever with Jesus in heaven. Okay, so this is what we have learned so far. I hope wow. boys and girls, you'll be able to remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, very important. Please do remember what you're learning. Mm. There is an end to all things that God has begun. Mm -hmm. And I think this just makes me feel like Jesus really loves us. Mm. And there is a song that reminds us of that, which I think we can be able to sing. Okay. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. I think that's a very beautiful song. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, we'll, we'll keep our seats mm -hmm. while we're seated. Let's sing this song and think about the words, boys and girls. Think about what 
you are just about to sing. And what you are singing, okay, take time to really think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. That's all we had for you today. Bye!